You know, it's a pretty sure bet that people who eat broccoli sprouts are pretty much more into health than the average person. So what is it about broccoli sprouts that are so important? And I'll bet you there's some things that most of us don't even know. And it has to do with sulforaphane. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Okay, that's pretty doggone impressive about broccoli sprouts. Uh, but you want to know what? If you freeze those broccoli sprouts uh, and then use them, they have a whole lot more sulforaphane and uh, more impact and more effect. And so that's why I freeze them and put them into my smoothie. Now, I don't usually like the taste of broccoli sprouts. They're pretty strong. So that's why I covered up with other things I put in my smoothie, like uh, frozen banana and uh, pineapple and blueberries and other kinds of things like that. So other types of greens that I put into my smoothie are kale, fresh kale from my garden usually, and also fresh spinach, and other kinds of things like carrots and uh, beets and, uh, and things like that. But it makes it taste a lot, lot better. So I thought I'd show you a very simple way to make broccoli sprouts, and uh, this is simple. I mean, anybody can do this, so you ought to give this a try. You know, making broccoli sprouts or alfalfa sprouts with the jar method is really, really easy. If you get these canning jars, and I recommend that you get the quart size wide mouth, and then get some of these lids that um, are especially designed for sprouting. And there are several kinds out there. I've got some of these at Walmart, and some I ordered. And then just going to add about two tablespoons of um, seed per jar. I've already added one tablespoon to this jar. And you just keep adding until you fill them all up. Then you're going to go ahead and add filtered water. We have a Berkey water filter. Add filtered water, well, about that far. Stir it up a little bit until they're all filled up. Then put all the lids on the jars. And just make sure they're out of the way, out of the sunshine, out of the heat. And we'll let them sit for about 12 hours, 24 hours, and then we'll drain them. The broccoli seeds I use are organic. I get them from Food to Live, and you can order them online. Just make sure that they're organic. Okay, they're all drained. Rinse them again. Now I'm just going to spread the seeds out a little bit. And now I'm just going to lay them down. Okay, so I just finished draining, rinsing, and draining again all of these uh, jars, and uh, I'm gonna let them sit for about, oh, this is the AM, I'm gonna let them sit for the PM, and then I'm gonna do the process again. And I'll repeat this process uh, every day until the sprouts are finished, and uh, rinsing and draining, and then uh, spreading the seeds around in the jar and letting them sit. It's important that you get all the water out. It's important, too, that it not be too warm in here. Pretty soon we'll have mold growing in there, and we don't want that to happen. Now I'm doing four jars because I want to freeze these when I get them all, all ready. If you're making them fresh, um, just make one jar or whatever every other day uh, just to keep yourself in fresh uh, greens. Okay, so this is day number two in the morning and we'll wait until this afternoon or evening to go ahead and do the process again. Okay, so it's the early evening of the second day. And we need to rinse these seeds and uh, drain them really well and put them back like they Some are. Some filtered water. And I'm going to go ahead and rinse these seeds. And uh, once I've rinsed them, I'm going to drain them really well and lay them out again until tomorrow morning. This rinsing process keeps the seeds nice and wet, but not too wet because we don't want them to mold. Remember, get all of that water out. 
spread the seeds around again. And like I said, go ahead and lay them out until tomorrow morning on the third day when we do the same process twice tomorrow as well. Okay, so this is the morning of day three and uh, simply going to add a little bit of water to these, rinse them and drain them real well and set them out like they are right now. Okay, take a look at what's going on here. You can see them starting to sprout. Okay. Okay, so again, morning of day three, add some water, rinse them up a little bit, gonna drain them and then shake them out a little bit, make sure I get all the water out, and then lay them out like they were. Okay, this is the evening of the third day, and uh, look how those have uh, really sprouted out since this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them, shake them out, get all the water out, set them up again. So there's the filtered water. Just rinsing them really good. Draining them, shaking all the water out, and putting them back, just like I was talking about. Okay, this is the morning of day four. And uh, you can see how the sprouts are really coming alive here. I will go ahead and rinse them and set them out again this morning. So again, this is morning of day four. I just shook them down a little bit before I added water to rinse them. Just wanted to show you what they looked like. This is the middle of day four, and sometimes what I like to do is just come and roll a jar over and um, I think that kind of helps get a little bit of light to turn them green while they're growing. Okay, day 4 p.m. And look at them grow. Okay, so now I need to add water, drain them, shake the water out, and set them back again. Till tomorrow morning. I put enough water in them to rinse them really good. And then I'll go ahead and drain them out and try to make sure all the water is shaken out of there. And then go ahead and set them down for the night. And just one after another until they're Okay, done. day five in the morning. You can see how the sprouts are doing. So I'm gonna rinse them and put them back. Okay, so I've added the water, shook them up really good, drained them, and then I'll shake the water out. And I'll put it down. And sometime today I'll rotate it a little bit. I'll be gone most of the day, and so I want to make sure that these sprouts are not put in a place where the sun shines on them or where it gets really warm. Okay, this is day five, mid-afternoon, and something has come up with my schedule. I am going to have to stop this process and uh, so normally I'd let this go another day or so but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these in uh, Ziploc freezer bags and put them in the freezer and uh, typically if you wanted to eat alfalfa sprouts or broccoli sprouts let them go a little bit longer and um, if you want to rinse some of the hulls out of there there's ways to do that but uh, for me for my smoothies I just blend that up all together. But anyway, I'm going to have to finish this. Sorry, but this is basically the end, and you see how easy it was to do this whole process. Anybody can do this. So when I'm making a, a smoothie for myself, I'll take the frozen broccoli sprouts out of the freezer, maybe take a cup worth, cup and a half, put it in the bottom of a blender, add a little bit of water, blend it up, and let it rest for about five or ten minutes. That really increases the, the production of the sulforaphane. Then, um, I'll go ahead and add all the ingredients to it, sweeten it up a little bit with fresh fruits, and uh, that's just the way I do it, because I've got to get this down, I've got to make it taste good. My wife loves the smoothies that I make, and I think that's a sure sign we're getting to the point where we could eat these smoothies every day and uh, really enjoy them. If you want to know more on this subject, go to YouTube and type in Dr. Rhonda Patrick, Broccoli Sprouts and Sulforaphane. She is amazing.